As promised, we are back with the husband and wife duo behind Dragonfly Balloons. And uh, David is in the hot seat over here. That's why I'm doing all the leg work here. He is about to get his airbrush tattoo from Mandy. He picked, I think, a dragon? I did. A dragon. Okay, and so I'm going to talk to LD about the other aspect of Dragonfly Balloons, the balloons yeah. and all of right. it. So what do you do here? Uh, we make balloon animals for, for primarily for birthday parties and fairs and festivals and church events and schools and any, pretty much anywhere you want some balloons. And some balloons for a PTL too. Yep. And you said the most asked for balloon yes. is actually right here. It's a goldfish bowl, yep. That's something we came up with uh, about 10 or 15 years ago and uh, people seem to like it. Nobody else really makes it in the, in the area. And while David is getting his tattoo, you guys are going to get started on that, right? Amanda, you can go ahead and get started. We want to see the finished product here. You're going to work on a goldfish sure. balloon for us. And how did you get into balloon art? Well, I used to run a DJ company. We used to do a lot of children's events and weddings and things. And they asked us uh, one time if we knew how to do balloons, and we didn't. So I learned a few things. And then just that following Monday, I started getting calls just to make the balloons. So here we are 20 oh, years are. later or so. Can I ask you, I think the hardest part about a balloon is tying the knot at the end. Yeah. Is there a trick to it? Please tell me there's a trick to it. It's not a, it's not a total trick. Uh, it's just tying a balloon. You, here, hold on to the balloon a second. And a comedian. <laughs> a balloon artist and a comedian. <laughs> uh, really, uh, uh, use the two finger technique and pull it through the middle is, is, the, is really the best the way. Best trick. <laughs> and so you and Mandy, how did you guys team up? How did you meet? Uh, we, well, we were doing the sa similar events uh, with doing the schools and everything. It, it's similar, she would be doing the hula hoops and I'd be doing the balloons. And we would just cross circles for, you know, eight years or so. And then, and then uh, one, day, one day I needed a bunch of extra help to do this because people kept saying, hey, you need a helper. And, and, I, and I couldn't find anybody that was confident enough. And she asked, yeah, sure, I'll do that. And then next thing you know, next you thing we know, we're working, <laughs> working together. And a few months later, we got married. Awesome story. I love hearing happy endings like that. Well, this is really cool to see everything coming together. David, how's the uh, tattoo coming along? So go ahead, Mandy. So you're just, this is what, an airbrush? Yes. So it's just paint that you're putting on It's here. just face paint that's liquefied instead of in a, a powder or a compact form. And we don't have to use a brush, so it goes on really thin with the air. So it dries pretty much as instantly as we do it. And how long will I get to keep this tattoo? Um, it'll stay on for about two days. Uh, if you want to wash it off, just use soap first and then water, and it should okay. come right off. Look at that, my now first tattoo. Dry. Good to go. I'm <laughs> my not gonna, first tattoo. It's his first tattoo. I'm not going to admit how many I have. Uh, but we know this year has been really hard for a lot of businesses, and you guys are full steam ahead now that things are starting to lift. Yeah, things are starting to come back. It's, it's going great. And where can people find you? They can find us at uh, facebook.com slash dragonflyballoons. Thank you so much You're to LD welcome. and Mandy, and good luck, David. We'll have the link to their Facebook page on Pittsburgh Today Live, too.